hi to all children okay see we have completed our importance of transport system lesson right so in this i i just when i explained the lesson i have I, i just told you you have to be fill this boxes according to the information and uh, whatever i taught whenever i taught you may have you might have heard no so based on that knowledge you have to be fill i have told you right see some of you may you may have filled or not right see now i'm telling you and you just check it out and um, and you have to write in your textbooks okay see here see this uh, here the question is here fill in the below with given words some words could be placed more than more than once give reasons for your choice here some of the words they gave and the down they gave one table okay so which are related to that we have to be fill see here uh, what are the what are there in the box see modes of transport vehicles used some products okay or groups of people that could be using okay here modes of transport already we have read about this road railways waterways airways okay so in this all which vehicles will be used okay of course among these all words uh, the vehicles names also there see car yes or no cycle lorry right from that you have we have to be pick it out in this we have to write and this okay in this we have to write and it's suitable on which type of mode of transport for example car is here okay this car if you write on the road roads transport mode of modes of transport roads if you write here a vehicles used a car is correct if you write that car in the waterways is it correct no right so this run like that information you have to write i have filled for you and i'll explain it right see roads and vehicles used which vehicles of course here car and bullock cart yes or no okay lorry and cycle okay and see some products are group of people that could be using see that people also they have given here okay i have filled those all pilgrims okay um fish uh, cattle okay grains petroleum workers okay iron ore and mangoes means uh, transporting of that products we are using that med uh, vehicles okay understood and uh, next railways okay railways carried by railways so goods train which vehicles on uh, on the railways we are using trains okay and the product carried by the trains that trains we are calling as goods trains product carried by trains we are calling as goods trains so which type of uh, um, see some products groups of people that could be using fish grain petroleum iron ore mangoes iron ore understood next waterways okay waterways which vehicles will use ships tankers and tourist iron ore and petroleum why because petroleum petroleum uh, we are we are getting by digging out from the oceans right oh, so whatever dig, uh, whatever uh, after finishing of digging out that will be transported by the ship to the port area okay uh, and filtration areas next helica uh, airways vehicles helicopters of course i have written here a plane also of course in this up the did not give aeroplanes also will use the right helicopter aeroplanes and which is carrying products aeroplanes they are calling as cargo planes okay storage planes uh, uh, which we are calling cargo planes okay tourist and pilgrims will be using okay 
this is the, one of the table are you looking see you too have to fill in your textbook with pencil understood i another table also i told you okay you have to read this paragraph understood i try to write the below table okay but again i want to repeat it to you even i told you you have to go for it see farmers residing in satyampalli okay sell their paddy okay sell their paddy mostly in the nearby town nayapet which is about 7 km away from the village okay see farmer residing in where satyampalli so where they are selling their pa paddy near towns so which is uh, that near town nayapet how much is uh, far from the his village 7 kilometers far okay bullock cart operates can transport about 10 paddy bags at a time and charges 50 rupees per bag okay if if that person farmer if he use bullock cart how many bags uh, uh, transport 10 paddy bags for that how much he is charging 50 rupees per bag tractor owners charge 20 20 rupees per bag each tractor can carry about 30 to 40 bags yes so tractor owners only only 20 rupees per bag they are they are charging and uh, in one tractor how many bags uh, can be loaded 30 to 40 bags lorry charge 10 rupees per bag and can carry 150 to 170 bags in trip understood here see lorry lorry sir charges how how much money for bag each per bag they are they are charging 10 rupees lorry can loaded with how many bags 150 to 170 okay in the case of long distances trucks charge more okay if it is a long distance the trucks will charge more for example to transport paddy from a wholesale trader in nayapet to the district headquarters which is about 100 to 120 kilometers away truck operates charges 50 rupees per bag they charge 800 to 1000 per ton to transport goods from 500 for 500 kilometers see this is all about uh, if he wants to be and transport our goods how much charge and um, which vehicles will be charged okay and uh, it depends on the kilometers uh, di- distances also right and see there are three farmers in the village they cultivated paddy and produced 25 bags 50 bags and 75 bags means Uh, one of the former 25 bags other format 50 bags and another one 75 bags they wish to sell their paddy in the agriculture yard in a nearby town which is 25 kilometers away what mode of transport would you suggest and why see here three farmers are there okay so in this all three farmers one one uh, one got yield of 25 bags 50 another 50 bags another 75 bags right see they want to be uh, transport the tall products to the market yard how much kilometers away from that 25 kilometers so which mode of transport would you suggest already already up paragraphs we came to know that um, uh, how much they will be charged in the lorries and the tractors and all okay depends on this information we should be answer for this okay see by combining of any of the three farmers see if they want to be combinedly sending of this all see how much it is 75 uh, totally 75 plus 75 right how much it is totally 150 bags right see here 100 to 170 bags 
ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय द लारी साइन दे चार्ज ओनली टेन रुपीज पर बैग ऐसा नो सो हियर द सजेशन इज बेटर इफ दे कंबाइनली थ्री फॉर्मर्स इफ दे सेंड इट टू द मार्केट यार्ड ओके सो दे दे विल दे कैन चूज लारीज अंडरस्टेड और एल्स if they want if they doesn't want to be combinedly if they want to be sell their their paddy um, in uh, as their selves okay they can go for tractor okay even for the tractor whoever answer 75 bags it is something uh, two, uh, two three trips he has to be take it out right but, but better way is the lorry okay lorry mode of transport is so better why because it's having a load of 100 to 170 bags and it is charging only 10 rupees understood and if it is only long distance only the trucks and lorries will be uh, charge more but if it is a less distance uh, see only only 25 kilometers right so they will not charge more okay here find out the fares for traveling in the following types of buses and time taken to travel between any two locations you are familiar with okay see children here they give a table form okay see if you go on a traveling by pallevelgo or a gramani gram bus or else in the express or else in the deluxe bus what are the fares okay what are the fares and how much time does we need okay so they have given in the tabular form like this so for you understanding you easily i i made it like you know uh, first assume if you go if you go want to be travel from the dishwali to the nizamabad okay just assume approximately i am giving you this figure of fare and the time also approximately okay assume it we are traveling from dishwali to the indalwai if we go on a traveling in the pallevelgu bus the fare fare means ticket charges uh, okay it might be the 15 rupees understood and time within 25 minutes okay if we go on traveling in the express it takes 20 rupees of charge and takes 20 minutes okay and if we hire or also if we get into the uh, deluxe bus okay there is no stops for the deluxe bus it's have an high speed also right so so fares also high understood but for the pallevelgu bus it's have the stops at the villages place and all but express and deluxe buses does not have any stops understood so that's why fares also high and the time consuming also less so in the deluxe bus it takes how much time Uh, it takes how much fares 25 rupees and uh, within 10 minutes will reach our destination got you my point okay so by, by uh, traveling by pallevelgu buses it's have the stops to in some places understood in express buses maybe one like that but in the deluxe buses there is no stop so that's why of course these three buses passing on same road but due to the reason stops okay stops uh, the time have taken by the pallevelgu and express but deluxe buses it's have only the destination stops only to stop areas so that's why speed of this is high understood children you have to open another lesson which i taught right production in a factory a paper mill in that lesson also i gave you uh, i told you some of the exercise boxes which is uh, related to the information lesson okay so you have to be fill i have told you right see once again you have check it out here uh, here they gave a box uh, they gave the product so that product and uh, which in which industry it is forming and raw materials also how, how it is using no see what are the raw materials they were using no so that also you have to write in the box okay see i have gave, i have written some of the uh, products of here understood and that related industry in uh, in which industry the products will be produced understood and 
raw materials for making of that products which raw materials do we need okay so if you want to write any another like this type of product you can write here they gave one of the example for us to understand clearly see first product shoe or chappal yeah okay so that is uh, uh, from which industry it will be we are getting from food way industry so for making of this product which raw materials uh, are consuming leather rubber or canvas and here i gave you the second example about table okay table from which industry furniture industry for that which raw materials do we need wood and iron okay and next pot you know about pot right pot see pot from clay industry for that raw materials clay water wood okay for running of that machine understood and dress okay from from which industry textile textile industry so for the raw materials which we need cloth and some of the machines understood see here here in the page of 90 you have a flow chart when i explained the lesson i told you to be fill of this okay see the process of uh, uh, making of a paper they gave some box like structure and um, after which process then after it will be shifted to another process then after it will be shifted to another process like right see like that they have given one given one flow chart and in that they have missed of in the mid, in the mid they have missed of some of a boxes so that we have to be fill here understood see here first one wood is brought into the mill yes correct next wood is cut into small chips see in the next box they did not give okay see i have written here you to have to write in your textbook after watching here see after the cutting into small chips which process will be gone wood is boiled with chemicals and made into pulp okay after this process it will enter into the liquid wood pulp is cleaned and colors are added okay after that in the next box so in this box also i have mentioned here second number 1 2 3 in this all three boxes they did not give the information we we have to be right right see here pulp is next of the uh, added added the colors after and uh, cleaning after that the pulp is spread on a roller okay with the uniform measurements okay with uniform measurements uniform measurements is nothing but equal measurements okay that the pulp is spread on a roller the next um, which process pressing rolling and finishing after that process what is the last process paper is rolled or cut according to the requirements i told you right a1 size or else a4 size i told you book paper size is somewhat larger than comparing to our notebook sizes right like that depends on the requirement of the size the paper is rolled and cut okay this is the flow chart you to have to be fill in your notes uh, and i'm sorry you have to be fill in your textbook okay and even in your notebook also you have to be fill out this all okay i gave you the homework also right in your notebook also you have to be fill the box here another table is here we we read about the uh, different types of the workers right mm, a permanent workers contract workers and casual workers here they gave the examples in in the textbook uh, we, we uh, they got the examples of suraj chandu and tara right see the uh, here Uh, their uh, which type of work and experience and income how much they are getting okay and the benefits okay each employee is getting uh, which type of benefits we have to be right here here first suraj suraj is which type of worker in in the paper mill permanent understood permanent work 
and experience 10 plus years how much is getting monthly 15000 per month is he getting benefits yes many benefits he is getting of course i have written uh, less p year okay this is p understood p year okay p year esi sick leaves and many others of course bonus and all okay and next chandu chandu is which type of worker contract workers yes or no okay chandu is a contract worker how much he had an experience seven plus years how much he is getting income for monthly eight thousand rupees so what he is getting benefit he he got he is getting a benefit only could be made a permanent uh, within two three years because after 10 years of working in same place they are giving in a permanent worker position right so chandu will become an, a permanent worker so that is a benefit could be made a permanent next tara tara is a casual worker like a daily laborers okay how much does she had an experience in the paper mill three plus years how much she is earning per month monthly of course monthly 2500 per monthly okay and for daily wage daily wages she is earning right 100 to 150 rupees daily is she getting any benefits no nothing benefits she have in the mill so children okay you have to be fill these boxes understood all these boxes and you will get a clear idea and all this all you have to write in your notes as i gave you the weekly weekly of weekly writings right weekly homework i gave now okay you have to write in your textbook as well as in your notebook also you have to be complete of all these tables understood okay i'll teach you the fresh lesson in the next class